Okay, in this video, we will talk about the customizations and features which I enable on my device. For example, I've installed this custom ROM, just taking it as an example, by the way. These features, customizations, which I will enable in this one might be available in a lot of other custom ROMs, which brings you a lot of customizations because this custom ROM brings you a lot of customizations. So that is why I just took this one as an example. Let's find out the things, including this one, the features I enable on my device 90 percent of the times features i use on my device we will talk about all of those things in this video make sure to watch this video till the end because video could be quite interesting for you let's have a quick look at some of these things which i enable firstly whenever i install a custom room the first thing i do is selecting the private dns mode i choose this dns.adguard.com in case you don't know this is basically adguard dns so to protect from ads i might not get any kind of ads after enabling this thing Another thing is, of course, this is quite obvious. I'm using 120Hz refresh rate on my device. If your device also has this one, I don't think so you should use 60Hz at all. You should use 120 and if your device has 90Hz, you can choose that too. Including this one, if you take a look at some of the other things, what I do is I only enable the screen locking sound and always show icon when in vibrate mode. Other features, I mean other options, I don't use them at all. I just turned that off. Also moving into the security and privacy options. In the settings, you will see auto confirm unlock is enabled. I always use this thing. Enhanced pin privacy is a very useful feature and also other options I have enabled already on my device. These are the things already available, but one thing let me show you. If you take a look at these kind of options, which are quite common here, I mean, these are just simple one, but here you have all the customizations, all the features. And as I just told you at the starting of the video, some of these features might be available in all the other custom rooms too, which is quite obvious. Firstly, let's have a quick look at the miscellaneous options. As you can see, we have some amazing privacy or basically security bypass features. Hiding the screen capture status, no storage restrict and the storage encryption spoofing. Application downgate, these features are enabled in my case. I always use these kind of things. So that should be enabled in your case too. Also, if you use spoofing on a device, as you can see, I have not tried anything else, especially the game props because I don't play games. So I will not choose this thing. Another thing is related to navigation mode. Let me show you one thing here. If I open this navigation mode, gesture navigation, I'll see this IME space option. This is a very useful thing. And if this feature is enabled by default, I always choose narrow option. So I might not get the space below the keyboard. This feels good. And as if it is not available by default in any other custom room, I always use a module for that, that considered as small keyboard nav bar. We also have some gestures, double tap on the status bar to sleep. I never use this feature. I don't know why, but I don't like this thing. Also the double tap to wake, of course, I don't use this thing too. In the notification section, in call vibration option. Definitely, I use this thing. Heads up notifications, I always say island notifications. I don't use it at all. We have the quick heads up notifications. Basically, you might only get the notifications for the phone and messaging app. Here you have the option to enable the power menu on the lock screen, secure lock screen. Always disable this thing for security purposes. Don't enable this thing at all. In the button section, we have the playback control. When the screen is off, long pressing the volume keys will skip the music track. Definitely this feature must be enabled. And optionally, this custom room brings me the option for volume percentage. It looks good. It is working fine. So I just enabled it at all. Other things, as you can see, ambient AOD customizations for the users. If you use always on display, I don't use it. So I will not enable anything from here. In the quick settings panel, we have a lot of options, a lot of customizations in this case. So just for an example, because this is project infinity OS. So we have the option for oxygen OS style quick settings panel. So just for an example, if I enable this thing on my device, this is optional. As I just told you, it is not available in every custom room, but if it is available, you can enable this thing because this is available in this case. So definitely I will enable this thing on my device. Let me show you how the quick settings panel is looking like, as you can see, 
So we have the option for this media player right top at the quick settings panel. And also you can adjust the quick setting tiles layout. So in this case, what I will choose, I will choose Android 11 style quick settings panel. Let me show you how this is looking like. This is the one. And for that, we need to adjust the columns here. So I'll choose five columns and the quick quick settings rows. I will choose one and apply change. That is it. Now, this is how it is looking like. You can adjust more things in this case. So for an example, let me show you. We have the brightness slider at the just middle of the thing. So we'll choose the position to bottom and then let me show you once now. And now the brightness slider at the bottom looks good with this sort of quick settings panel design. Other than else, everything seems to be quite simple and you can enable this thing on a device too. Let's have a quick look at the status bar options. Status bar has some background chip options for the clock. What that is, I choose the sharp gradient corner, which good, which looks good actually, of course. And also the battery styles. There are a lot of styles available. If it is available, the landscape iOS outline. I use this thing or sometimes I use iOS 16 style battery indicator. Everything else is just similar. We don't use it at all. As you can see, you can enable some of the things if you want to, but I don't use any kind of these things. Most of the features are already, already enabled and looks good. Everything else is just similar and you can use it on a device. We also have some theming options available, by the way. In font section, in my case right now, I'm using Manrop fonts, fonts, uh, but we have some other options. So these are optional. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't use nothing matters in icon pack section pavlova ui is one of my favorite which i'm using also in this one too and other than else in icon shape we have ios style icon pack available so i enable this thing and the icon shape will be changed the icon shape on the home screen will be changed so that is it thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like this one make sure to like this video for sure thanks for watching